Hello and welcome guys to this top lane tier list. So I wasn't able to fit all of the characters in just one video, so it's gonna be a part one. So if you don't see your champion in this video, do not worry, I didn't forget, I will just put it on the other video. Anyways, fuck this shit, let's start with the tier list. First we have Cho'Gath, amazing champion, scaling with health, bigger than life. And because he's bigger than life, I will gift him uh, this badge. This is an amazing badge and I think it fits very well into and for uh, for Cho'Gath. So Cho'Gath, I will put you at legendarily broken. He really is broken. If you get many stacks, you can basically eat anyone you want. That sounds gay as fuck, but in League of Legends, that's literally, that makes sense actually. Next up we have Camille, my nemesis. I play Garen and she always fucks me up. A lot of true damage very mobile and very universal plus she's thick as hell like look at these legs very strong i hate camille but i have to give her credit because she really is a skillful champion and really really strong so i will put that top main top lane as a gift just a doorknob because i have no idea what to give her really next up we have dr mundo a lot of health regeneration Garen has a lot of health regeneration. I like Dr. Mundo in general as an opponent. For me, he's boring, okay? Maybe for you, he's very interesting to play. For me, personally, he's boring, so I don't want to put him very high. I will put him at decent stuff. So what does Dr. Mundo need? I believe because he's, he went insane, like the police took his PhD. So now he needs a PhD diploma for doctor, uh, doctor medical studies and stuff like that, for medical uh, services, you know, so, so he can actually work again as a medic or maybe as a surgeon. Maybe he just comes and decapitates your penis and then he continues with his day. Next we have Olaf. I love Olaf because he rages all the time and he always fights you. That's very satisfying. If you have an opponent who actually fights you, that's very satisfying. I don't like opponents like uh, Gnar, Timo, Swain. I like melee champions who actually get along with you, who actually interact with you physically. Not in a sexual way, that actually sounds gay, but it is not. I will put him at legendarily broken because if you really get critical items with Olaf, you can smash. And what does make Olaf extremely angry? Think about it. There's another impostor in our universe. This motherfucker. This guy is from Frozen. He's a fucking loser. Look at these proportions. His torso is smaller or maybe as big as his fucking head. And he's ugly as fuck. Look at this hair. I'm sorry for you bald guys, but this is horrible. Like, he needs to fucking shave this shit. So Olaf, I will take this and bring you a shotgun. You will be able to shoot this guy down or maybe melt him with your... Uh, warm spirit and stuff like that and I think that's it. I think we finished like the coolest name and they give it to the worst fucking character Next up we have Fiora extremely strong. This is by the way um, AI generated so it wasn't me who AI generated it She looks like a tiktoker or like a model from OnlyFans. I don't know. She has many dashes and she's a counter of many many picks she can counter Orn she can counter, I think, Trandol. If you think about it, she doesn't have hard matchups if you learn how to play very, very well. I think I would also put her at Broken because uh, I never, I, I seriously, I was never able to win Fiora in a fight. I always win Fiora through split pushing and just breaking the towers and winning with the Nexus instead of actually fighting Fiora. It's like real life, I'm getting by without actually dealing directly with my problems. And as a gift to Fiora, do you know what's better than a 5 year old? Nothing! I'm giving her a 5 year old. Gnar. Uh, he's very adorable when he's a little piece of shit, uh, he's very useless. Like when he's mini Gnar, he doesn't apply a lot in team fights. When he's mega Gnar, he can jump and make his ultimate and stunts and stuff like that. Very useful. But in general, if we're talking about 1v1, even if he's Mega Gnar or Medium Gnar or Mini Gnar, it doesn't make shit. He just goes against Darius or Trindamer or Olaf and he fucking dies. I love Gnar because he was one of my mains, but he's pretty much useless. But do not worry Gnar, I will give you this prestige, amazing, brutal Bionicle. I think you will like it. Now as the ranking goes, I will put him at Bro I like it. Actually no, he's not, he's not better than Mundo I think. Average enough. Average is enough, bro. Next up we have Gragas. I don't know a lot about Gragas, I just know he has very good cooldown, very good 
ability power ratio like recently he became very popular and strong i would just put him at legendarily broken because i really do believe he's broken actually no let's put him at top main top lane what is the characteristic of gragas he drinks a lot and he's obese i'm, I'm not trying to insult him and if you are also obese or overweight I'm, i don't have anything against obese people okay but i will give him pills for hypertension. Probably he has problems with his health, diabetes type 2, heart disease and all of that shit. He needs to lower his blood pressure, his arteries are full of calcium and stuff and fat. He needs this shit. Yelawi, S tier. I will not say anything else. But, as a gift, we can give her anime 18 plus series. So she has tentacles, she has a lot of potential. I can dream, can I? Let's put Ilawi to the top. Next up we have Irelia, which uh, honestly I accidentally put Irelia in this tier list or in this video because she was meant to be for part 2 and I accidentally inserted this photo, this image of Irelia in this project. So instead of just ignoring it, let's just criticize her. She's very strong, but I think once you know how to predict her movements, you're pretty much fine. If you exploit Irelia, I think you're able to win. If you're Olaf, Trindamer, Trandol, even Garen with critical damage, I think you're able to win Irelia. Now because Irelia was accidentally put in this video, I don't have a present, so I just got this JPEG of my previous thumbnail in League of Legends. You should probably check my previous video, this is gold shit. I would put her at probably bro I like it. Honestly, considering everything, so far so good, we have nothing below average. Now we have Jax. You know what's better than a 5 year old? Two five-year-olds. Jax is a strong champion. I will put him at bro. I like it. Next up, we have Chase. I hate Chase. And if you play melee champions at top lane, I think you also had this nightmare of playing against this fucking champion. He's like a parasite in your brain, and you want to get rid of it. And for this piece of shit, I have Eye Cataract. So he will never be able to land any spell or skill shot on me. He will be partially blind, basically. Uh, I will put Jace to top lane question mark. Next we have Kesante. Very resilient, strong and tanky with good crowd control. Plus, he's dark skinned, so I can gift him the Republic of Congo. I'm not racist, I'm just very thoughtful of his characteristics and I want him to be uh, to feel at home. That, that's it. Kesante, you can go to uh, Bro, I like it. Next up we have Kale, the champion which is useless until she hits level 16. Listen, when she hits level 16, she's top and I think she's legendarily broken. So I will give her this magical, legendary, prestige, well-designed sword. This magic sword is very well suited for any woman, I think, but for a girl like her, this magical one is the best one. Next we have Kled. I don't know about this champion like anything. All I know is that he's crazy and he has this fucking dinosaur or lizard he's uh, riding around and he always gets away. As a gift I will give him something that can make him move even faster. A Harley Davidson 883 Sportser. With this one he doesn't need that uh, useless lizard. He can use this one and get like 120 km per hour I think. That's the maximum or maybe 160 or maybe 180. Anyways, this is much better and practical, and why the fuck not, let's give him this fucking magical sword also. But this, listen, this is not magical, this one is just the normal one, so don't mistake it with this one. This is legendary and prestige and it has like a cool aura and effects, this is like nothing, this is just plastic. You can shit at this champion as much as you want, but he is fucking good. Next we have Atrox, I will say nothing, STR, a lifesteal of a fucking god. Atrox you to the top. I will give him lube oil so he can fuck any enemy with no friction between the penetration. Next up we have Malphite who exists only for his ultimate. He has the most armor in the game if we're talking about the ratio and if we're not comparing him to a fully stacked 3 hour long game thresh. This guy is like the best against attack damage champions. So as a tier I will put him at decent stuff. He's not amazing. Not very bad, he's in the middle. But as a gift, like, what does Malphite really need? I think he's lonely. If you think about it, we have Katarina for Garen, Xayah for Rakan, Akali for Kane. But for Malphite, we have nothing. So I will give him the League of Legends tower. So now he has the tower and 
he will be able to smash it and literally and physically. Mordekaiser, again, STR, I will say nothing, extremely fucking broken. I will give to Mordekaiser Brazil, to the top. Nasus, a very strong champion, but I don't think he's that useful if you play him ability power. Maybe at the beginning he can like kite the enemies and win, but in general, ability power Nasus not the best. If you play tank Nasus slash, you know, attack damage Nasus, and you have stacks, I think he can kill pretty much any champion. If he has 1k stacks, he can kill everybody, maybe except uh, Chogath. And I will give him as a gift the Minecraft wheat farm. Now he's a literal farmer. What up, dog? We be smoking weed in the in the, in the hood. Ah, that's a very bad impersonation of uh, the hood guys. Probably K Santi is very disappointed. He's probably from the hood and he thinks I'm a fucking retard. And now for the last stage, the last phase, we have the last legendary rank, which is Ultimate Warrior of all time. Busting the nut while blocking the fart cause his brain cells are fucked for he's never been cucked and his dick is a hunk, his fingers are stuck, and he's smashing the hulk. Darius! Garen! They're like one of the best champions you can play melee. Garen has, he's very universal, tanky, fast, cooldown deduction very good, a lot of damage and true damage. The same with Darius, he's not fast but he is very tanky, resilient, he can heal very well, he actually has the best healing from based stats. OP champions and I want to see both of them in an arm wrestling competition. I think that would be like, that, that would be very entertaining. Uh, I would love to see that, that would be fucking amazing. If you want to put any more champions, please tell me in the comments below, maybe I will put them in the part 2 of top lane. We will see you next time, that's it.